Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Ordinary Amino Acids Plus B5, which maintains skin hydration, texture, resilience and an overall subtle and healthy appearance. Now this is also a water-based zone which you are going to apply before any oils and creams. And you can also use the amino acids in the morning and evening. The ordinary amino acids do not have any conflicts, which means that you can also use it along with other ordinary products that are currently available. And before you're going to apply it to your face, let me also show you how you can do a proper patch test. So to do a proper patch test, we need to also wash the area where we are going to do the patch test, which is also the upper forearm area. So go ahead and wash the area with a little bit of water and soap. And now take a fresh towel and pat the area dry. And now we can go ahead and also apply a small amount of the amino acids onto the freshly washed area. Then gently blend it into the skin. Also give it a moment to sink into the skin and then you are going to leave it on this area for 24 hours. What's really important is that you are also going to keep this area dry for 24 hours. Now after the 24 hours have passed you now can also rinse the area with water only. There is no cleanser or soap needed. Again, pat the area dry. And now you can also make sure that you analyze your skin and if you can see any redness, burning, itching or blistering or other irritation during that time throughout the patch test, do not use this product on your face. If no irritation occurs, you now can also move on and apply it to your face. Before you're going to apply the ordinary amino acids to your face, it's important to start off with step number one, which is also washing your face with a suitable cleanser for your skin type. And this can also help you to remove any excess oil, dirt, sweat, dead skin cells and leftovers of your makeup, so that you also have a fresh and clean start when moving on to the next step. Now if you aren't sure how you can also properly wash your face with a cleanser, I have a video for you in the top right corner. Now I have already washed my face, pat the skin dry and I'm now ready for the application of the amino acids. Now I want to be clear that when also washing your face with a cleanser and you're also going to pat your skin dry with a towel, you can immediately move on to the next product application. There is no need to wait. Now amino acids can also be used alone. You can also dilute it and or also include it in your skincare routine and I'm also going to show you all three of them. Now I'm going to start off by applying the amino acids like on its own on my face like this so that you also can see how um, or what's the best method of application so that you also can apply it evenly all over your face and neck area. Since the amino acids are also like very water-like, they are very thin in texture and as you can see it may also be a bit difficult depending on what application you're going to use. Some people prefer to use a few drops in the palm of their hand or fingertips and then apply it to their face and other people prefer to use it directly on their face and then put it into the skin. Those methods aren't wrong, choose the one that works the best for you. However, if you can see that the zone is very thin in texture, I recommend either using the method where you're going to use a few drops in the palm of your hand, rub it together and then apply it or use a few drops directly on your face so that you're not going to waste or lose any product. 
Now, with amino acids, I usually recommend using between one to three drops of a serum and apply it evenly all over your face and neck area. However, since this one is a bit thinner in texture, you can also use more drops if you feel the need, as not everyone has the same size of face. And so I'm going to stick with three drops. Then I like to also use it between my hands and I'm going to start patting it into the skin. If you prefer to also kind of rub or blend it into the skin, that's fine too. Just make sure that you're not using too much, but still enough so that you also can evenly apply it all over your face and neck area. So, and after you have applied it all over your face and neck, you're going to leave it on the skin. There's no need to wash it off. Now, The Ordinary does mention on their website that when using amino acids, you can come across a tingling sensation which you also may feel on the skin. I personally didn't experience it and I don't feel anything whenever I'm using the amino acids, but in case it also happens to you, I also wanted to show you how you can also dilute it with other serums, oils or moisturizers. Now, since the amino acids do not have any conflicts with other products of the Ordinary products, you can also go ahead and use it with one of the water-based serums such as niacinamide, alpha butene or hyaluronic acid and so many more, or go ahead and dilute it for example with the rosehip oil or also with the moisturizer. So whatever you also have at home and you feel the tingling sensation, you can also go ahead and reduce the strength of the amino acid so that you also can reduce the tingling sensation until your skin has built up the tolerance for it so that at the end or after a few weeks or months, you can also use it on its own. Now I'm going to show you how you can do it. I personally prefer to also use it with the ordinary hyaluronic acid. I really like this combination. So I'm going ahead and using a few drops of the hyaluronic acid and then add amino acids to it. So I'm going to go with two drops, which I usually would use when I'm applying hyaluronic acid to my face. If you want to use a few drops more, that's totally fine. Then I'm going ahead and using the amino acids. And I'm also going to add them to the hyaluronic acid. I'm going to stick with three drops. And since you're also going to dilute it, I also recommend doing it in the palm of your hand so that you then also can go ahead and mix it. And once you're done with mixing it, you can also go ahead and use it between your hands and then gently pat it all over your face and neck area. Now you can do this with any water-based serum or anhydrous solution or also with any oils if you like to. Now if you're going to use a moisturizer and you want to dilute the amino acids with your moisturizer, you can also go ahead and use a pea-sized amount of your moisturizer. Like so. And then add a few drops of the amino acids to it. And I'm going to stick with three drops again. And then again, go ahead and mix your moisturizer with the amino acids. And once it's nicely mixed, you can also go ahead, use it between your hands and also gently apply it all over your face and neck area. This way you're making sure that the tingling sensation in case when using amino acids alone is a bit too strong so that you also can reduce it. Wait until your skin has adjusted to the amino acids with the diluting part and then you can also start after a few weeks to see can I now use it alone without a moisturizer or without any other serum or oil. Of course, if you prefer to mix it, that's fine too. Just make sure that you also find a combination that works best for you. I personally prefer, if I can, to also layer the products and serums after each other instead of mixing it. But this is of course personal preference. Now also when using amino acids, you can also of course include it in your skincare routine. And here you can also see an example skincare routine. This could be an AM or PM skincare routine. This could also be a routine that can be used daily, where you're also going to start off with a gentle cleanser, then moving on to the toner, then you're going to move on to an exfoliant if you want to include one. Please be mindful that when using a leave-on exfoliant such as the glycolic acid toning solution or lactic acid and the other ones from the ordinary, that you're also making sure that you're using a soothing toner that doesn't include any AHA or BHA acids as well as with the cleanser, that it also doesn't include any AHA or BHA acids so that you're making sure that no irritation will occur. 
Then you can also move on after the exfoliator um, to the amino acids. If you want to add another serum to it, such as niacinamide, alpha butin, or maybe also an oil to it, like the rosehip oil, that's fine too. If you feel the need, you also want to finish it off with a moisturizer or oil, you can of course also add it as one of your last steps. And if you're going to use it also in the AM skincare routine, please make sure to also finish it off with a sunscreen when being exposed to the sun. Now, amino acids doesn't make the skin sensitive to the sun. However, whenever being exposed to the sun and you don't want to get sunburned, I always recommend also applying sunscreen to your skin wherever it's being exposed, just to protect the skin, not mainly because of the amino acids, just so that you don't get sunburned. And here you can also see the different ways on how you can include amino acids. Personally, whenever I'm using amino acids, I really like the combination of the amino acids and also hyaluronic acid, those two. And whenever I'm using them, I do not feel the need of using a moisturizer afterwards because I feel like my skin is hydrated enough. So see what works the best for your skin and how your skin feels, depending on what product you're using it along with it and then see if you need a moisturizer or an oil if you, are, if you are going to skip it and just basically move on directly to the sunscreen if you need it. So this is basically what I wanted to share with you. I also do hope that you enjoyed this video and that I also could help you to make sure how you can also use the ordinary amino acids with B5. And also if you like this video, don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!